Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit configure and email letterhead and template from the project customize and org to support a new business. So here we are going to create an image based letterhead. Then we are going to use that letterhead into an email template that we are going to create as part of this challenge. Then uh, we are also going to test this email functionality that we will be creating uh, going through one by one uh, through all these steps. So let's just quickly launch our trailhead playground, which I've already done over here and you will land on this playground starter page. Go to app launcher. First of all, we have to upload the image which we are going to use in the letterhead. So type for file here. And in order to upload a particular file, we must have it first. So we can have that file by simply downloading it. So how we can download it, go to the first step over here and you will find open this image hyperlink. Click on this hyperlink, it will redirect you to this uh, image. Right click and select save image as. You have to store this uh, or download this uh, file on desktop. So I'm doing the same and the file name, I'm going to keep it the same, get cloudy consulting logo, because this is the same name that has been asked in our challenge. So I'm not going to change it. Click on save, this will get downloaded. Now, next we have to, uh, so the first thing we have is we have to download this image and save it on your desktop. Then second thing is we have to upload the same file. Now go to uh, this uh, file page that we had opened it. Click on upload file button. Here we are going to upload the file that we just downloaded, get cloudy consulting. It will get uh, downloaded, uploaded. And you will see that the name uh, get cloudy consulting logo is the same, which has been asked in our challenge, get cloudy consulting logo. Now, if at all at the time of downloading or uploading, you uh, change the name of the file, then you need not to worry. You can still change the name of this file. So how you can do that, go to this drop down icon, click on here and select the edit file details. Here you can change the name back to the one which has been asked in our challenge, right? You can do that from here. Click on save and this will save the file name with the same name uh, by which we want as for the challenge. Now, next we are, we are done with this uh, file uh, which contained the image. Now, next we have to create the letterhead. So go back here again in the app launcher and search for letter. This will filter out an option, enhance letterheads for us. Click on this, we have to create a new one, click on new button. The details of the letterhead has been mentioned in our challenge. So I'm going to copy the name from this table and paste it in the name text area. The description also, I'm going to paste it, uh, copy it from the challenge and paste in the description text area. Now we have to prepare the header of this letterhead. So if you scroll down a little bit to the letterhead content section, here you will find that there is this last option, which is insert images into your message. So click on this and select browse or upload. Here it will give out the files that are there in our org. So this was, this is the first file is the one which we just uploaded. So click on this file and click on insert button. So this will add this file to this letterhead. Now, once this is done, click on uh, enter key on your keyboard and type dear, give space. And we have to add merge field here. So what, are, what is merge field? So suppose there is uh, a person to whom you want to send this email by the name ABC. So the name uh, here, it will dynamically take the name dear ABC. Now, suppose uh, without you manually changing it. Now, if the if suppose you want to send an email to XYZ person, so the name without you changing the name in your email, it will automatically take dear XYZ. So how uh, we can add this merge field over here, on the bottom right, you will find this insert merge field option. Click on this and search for first. And this will filter out first name for us. Click on this and click on insert button. So this will automatically take the first name. If it is ABC, user is ABC to whom we are sending, it will automatically take dear ABC. If it is XYZ, it will automatically take dear XYZ. So that's the function of merge field. It dynamically takes the data as per the value present in the record. Click on save. That's all we had to do for this letterhead. Now it's time to create the email template, which will 
use this letterhead with the image that we have uploaded in this letterhead. So select this email template option over here. So if you will see, we have uploaded this uh, uh, this uh, file in the letterhead by the name Get Cloudy Consulting logo. We have inserted the merge field also. We have okay. We forgot to add the comma. So go back to your uh, this letterhead again. And we forgot to add one thing here. Click on this drop down icon and click on edit. Scroll to the header portion. And just uh, when this last bracket of merge field ends, put a comma after that. That's the requirement that was mentioned and we skipped it. Uh, so I forgot that. Click on save now. That's the correct uh, configuration that we have to make. Go back to email templates. Now we have to create a new one using this uh, letterhead. So I will copy the details from here. The email template name is public facing general. So I will copy it and paste it in the name text area. Then description again, I will be copying it from this table of details and paste it in the description text area. Folder has to be changed from private to public email templates. Subject again, I will be copying it from this detail table and paste it in the subject text area. Now this field enhanced letterhead contain the information of the letterhead that we want to associate with this particular email template. So for this one, this email template, we want the letterhead, which we just created uh, by the name general customer support, which contain the image that we uploaded a few minutes back. So that's all. Uh, these all are the settings that we have to uh, add for this new email template. Click on save button. We are going to save it. Now this will create an uh, email template for us with the letterhead and the image that we had uploaded. Now it's time for us to uh, test this. So we have we have completed all these uh, details. Now it's time for email test. So go to contacts record and select Andy Young from there. So we will go to app launcher again and search for contacts, select this contacts record. And if uh, you find Andy Young in the recently viewed list, that is fine. You can open it from here. If not, then you have to go to all contacts and select Andy Young from here. So click on this record. Now, first of all, uh, we have, we will be testing our email functionality by sending an email to this Andy Young person. So before that, we have to change the email address for this particular uh, record or person or contact, you can say, go to details tab. And here you will find an email field over here. We have to change it to the, or replace this email with our email. So I will be changing it with trailhead explanation at gmail.com. Click on save button and this will uh, change the email of this contact. Once you change this email, it will send an uh, email verification link on your uh, email uh, on this particular email, which you have replaced. So go to your email and you will, so I've got this email uh, support, Salesforce support from Salesforce support. Click on this, open this email and this email or the link is uh, uh, expires or valid for only 72 hours. So click on this link and it will ask you to reset if you want to reset this email address. So continue this. It will verify this email address and that's done. We have verified the email. Go back to the uh, Andy Young record detail page. Once this is done, we are good to go with the email functionality to test the email functionality. On the far right, you will find the tab email. Click on this under activity uh, tab. Now here you can see from is the uh, from here contains the email or the username from which I have logged in. Two contains the record on whose detail page we are on, uh, Andy Young. Now here we have to upload the email template which we just created. So if you scroll down, you will find this icon insert, create or update template. Click on this and search for the template which we just created by the name public facing general which contain the letterhead and the image which we uploaded. Click on this email uh, template and click on insert button. So this will add the image or the letterhead and the email template, everything. Now we have to change this subject by our choice. So I will say this is test uh, email template. This is the subject that I'm giving here. 
Now, dear recipient dot first name. This will automatically take the first name of this uh, person to whom we are sending. So in our case, it is Andy. So it will say dear Andy. Now here in this dash uh, text box, we have to type the body or the content. So I will say here the email content goes. Once this is done, uh, we are, uh, I think, go to send this email. Let me just first cross check once again. So we have replaced, we have inserted this template. We have replaced the subject. We have added the uh, text to this email. Now we are good to go. Just click on the send button and we should be able to hopefully send this email successfully. So email send. And as you can see over here, the status is unopened as of now and check your email address. We should be able to see this email over here in our email. So as you can see that email has been uh, received here by the subject test email template, which have which we have provided there. And here the Andy, the merge field has worked uh, definitely perfectly. And we got the first name as well and the content that we provided in the template. So that's uh, everything worked fine. And we are now good to go to check our challenge. So go back to your trailhead unit and click on this verify step to earn 100 points. Hopefully we should be able to complete this challenge Let's just wait for it to give out the results. There you go. This unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then, take care and subscribe our channel. Thank you.